most reliable predictor of reading fluency and by extension comprehension. In other words, the, hmm. the strongest predictor of how well someone reads by the common definition, can you read a book and understand it and tell me what was in the book, right. is the person's ability to read pseudo words. That is silly words that are in the dictionary, right. or that are not in the dictionary rather, but conform to English spelling conventions. So, mm. so that's the gold standard. And it's a, there's a test called Dibbles. There's others, but Dibbles is probably the most well-known. And that's what we use to predict reading success. Now, if you can read these list of silly words or pseudo words, fly, blows, uh, not blows, uh, floke, you know, weird, weird words that a computer could read to you, but th that are not in the dictionary, then right. you can read because you're applying the spelling code mm. to these these correct spellings of words that don't exist. Right. The reason that we don't ask kids to read words like bike and Susie is because they've seen those a million times. Right, they've so memorized they're them. They're mm -hmm. Chinese pictograph. They don't, it doesn't prove anything. Hmm. So, so this is what I did to prove that I knew what I was doing. Because who am I? I'm just some second grade teacher. Who is this guy? <laughs> so I, I decided, okay, I'm going to videotape my little second graders trying to read these pseudo words. And I took mm -hmm. the low readers they were really non-readers. I mean, they could write their name, but they couldn't even, I mean, that was just a picture. They didn't even right. know how to read their own name. Mm -hmm. So I, I gave them this list and I said, read these words to me. And of course they, they, they couldn't. Mm -hmm. And I videotaped that. I then ran them through my program. A couple of months later, I retested them, videotaped. And of course they could, they could read the list fine. Mm -hmm.